friends, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I currently upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday with bonus uploads in between. I also have two other channels if you're interested. One is a vlog channel, I always link it down below, and the other is a reselling channel. So one of my part-time jobs is I resell clothing, shoes, and everything in between on Amazon, eBay, and Poshmark. So if you're interested in reselling, you've heard of it, I tell you how much money I'm making, we do hauls, we do come thrift with me's. I will always link that channel down below. But today, we are finally trying the Tati Beauty Blendiful. So we're gonna go back in time, sans makeup, and I'm gonna put on my entire face with the two Blendifuls. Now I did a recent video talking about if I was gonna buy it or not, how I felt about it, and I told you guys in that video, I've never used something like these things, and I don't usually like them, so I kind of went into this very skeptical but open-minded. I much prefer to use my fingers for makeup and brushes. That's it, I don't use beauty blenders, I can't stand them, I know, I know I'm the minority. I don't like them, I feel like they pick up too much product, I feel like they're disgusting, no matter how much I wash them, they're always kinda like wet, and you know, cause you're, most people, not everyone, but most people use them very damp, and it just grosses me out. I did a whole video on um, labs finding like E. coli, or not E. coli, finding a lot of bacteria in beauty blenders. It's just, I don't know, friends. Maybe I'll get past it, but these are supposed to be very cleanly, you can easily wash them. So we're gonna give it a try in this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let me know if you wanna see more reviews like this. So we're gonna go back in time and we will try these out and see how. All right, friends, let's dig into this bad boy. I haven't even opened it yet. It's much thinner than I thought. I don't know, for some reason, well, let's just see. I won't make any judgments. The package just seems thinner than what I thought. So here you go. Uh, it looks, I don't know, for some reason I just thought they were bigger. It says cleaning instructions, which I'm very happy about because I was, I told you guys in that initial video, I was worried about cleaning it. Machine wash and dry in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm soapy water, rinse thoroughly and blot dry. Do not bleach, do not dry clean. Okay, let's do this. Cruelty-free, vegan, made in China, distributed by Tati Beauty. Let's go. If I seem a little cuckoo, please look at the current time. <laughs> I am so dedicated to getting this review up. I have a meeting that I have to be at in San Diego, which is like two and a half hours from my house. So I got up at this time. I've been up since three, so I could film this review, edit it, get it posted before that meeting because I love you so much, friends. I know you wanted to see this review. So they are much smaller than I thought, which I'm actually happy about. I don't know, for some reason on her video, they seemed huge to me. Like I thought this was the size of my entire hand, but it's only the size of uh, half my giant, ginormous hand. And then this one is so cute. They are very soft. Think of like a very soft duvet that kind of feels like, not fleece, just like a very soft, like faux fur something. I love the way it feels. So, Tati said you can do your entire face with this, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do my face the way I usually do it. I told you guys, I am skeptical of this because I like using fingers and brushes. So, I'm gonna start with primer. This is the Lancome Prep and Matte Refreshing Mattifying Makeup Primer All Day Hydration. Names are getting way too long. I usually put everything on my clean, sanitized hands, and then I pick it up from my hands, either with my finger or my brushes, but I'm gonna take this and just pat it in to the skin. I usually only put this primer on my T-zone. Um, I shouldn't have put it under my eyes, actually. My under eyes are usually pretty dry, but as I told you, it's almost 4 a.m and I'm like delusional. Put it on my forehead, my nose, and I just press it into the skin. Let me grab a mirror so I can see how we're doing. I'm gonna use this same little one for primer, and then I'm gonna use the big one for foundation. So I'll be right back. If you guys see steam, I have tea here. <laughs> I probably should have mentioned that. You've probably just seen like steam. Probably just seen, 
I can't talk. It's probably just like salt steam rising up. Okay. I mean, that felt nice, but it's a primer. I feel like the true test is with concealer and foundation. So I told you guys I'm a fan of Lancome. I use it. I use one of Lancome's products daily. This is the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 530 SUEC. Kind of a weird name. I'm going to use the big one. I've never used one of these. Not a makeup artist, just a normal girl. Wears makeup every day. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to swipe. I don't like swiping anything on my skin. I like to press it into the skin. So I'm just going to do half of the face pressing the way I usually do with my brush. And then I'll try the other half swiping and see which works best. But I always put my foundation on my clean hands. And then I'll take it here. I just wanted to show you guys me using it because I'm just a normal girl. This is like I'm not a makeup artist. This is not something that I would usually wear. But a lot of you told me in that other video, you were like, you know, I'm not a makeup artist and I love using those. Or Tati's been talking about using puffs for years and I tried it and you guys said you like it. So it's distributing the product really nicely. It's not picking up too much. One of the reasons I don't like beauty blenders is because I feel like it picks up too much of the product for your foundation especially. And then um, I'm wasting a lot of product in the beauty blender. So far this ain't so bad. Not so bad friends. Just pressing it into the skin I want a little more foundation. You guys, my oldies, but my goldies know. I like full coverage, so I'm just going to slip it on. Honestly, I was saying it seems smaller than what she showed on the video, but it's big enough to honestly just perfectly cover my face with foundation. That looks really nice. That looks pretty nice, friends. Pretty nice. All right, so let's do the other side with a swiping motion. I feel like I'm using a little bit more foundation than usual. I think for my entire face, I use like two pumps. I think we're on two and a half. So a little bit more, but let's try swiping. Swiping? I'm, yeah, I'm thinking of like swiping, right? Swiping, wiping. When it's 4 a.m., everything is weird. <laughs> I definitely prefer pressing it into the skin. I feel like you get more coverage. This is what it looks like so far. You know what, when we're done using it, I'm gonna wash it, hand wash it, and we'll see how much comes off. Maybe it's just because I'm a novice. I feel like I used about a half a pump more foundation than I usually would, and I kinda wanna put some more on because usually with this foundation, when I use a brush, you can't see my dark marks. I'm gonna do like one fifth of a pump and press it into the skin. It does give a very natural finish, friends. Even though this is a very full coverage, long wearing foundation, I feel like the puff is making it just look very even, which I like. It's almost as if I just used my brush. And again, I'm new to this, I always put foundation on my neck, but I feel like over time I could get faster. I'm just curious to see how this washes. So, all right, so we've used the bigger one for foundation. Let's go in and use the smaller one for concealer. So I know Tati said that you can use one for your entire face, but because we have two, why not take the little cutie? He's so cute. I kind of like that it's in a heart shape. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think it's so cute. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape. I usually just put it directly on the eyes. Directly on the eyes. A little bit down the bridge of the nose. And let's just, I never ever wipe concealer. I always press it into the skin. Oh wow. Oh wow, okay, okay, that is 
very easy, almost faster than my normal way of using my fingers. So what I usually do for concealer is I use my fingers to press it in and then I'll go with the brush and press it in even more. My God, that was like, okay, for concealer, that was like half the time it usually takes me. I mean, concealer under the eyes usually takes me to press it in just to blend it into the skin a couple minutes, maybe like three to four minutes. You guys saw that? That took me like, what, 20 seconds? Oh my, yes. I definitely like this little one for concealer. I think the bigger one will just take me more time with practice because I've never used something like this, but wow. Okay, that's very nice. No harsh lines, like the package said. Pressed into the skin really nicely. Not bad. Let's do some contour. I'm gonna use the Fenty Matchstick and Espresso. I told you guys in a recent video, I love using this every day just to quickly contour the nose. I'll just do the bottom like that. I don't have time for fancy contour, okay? This is everyday makeup here. I'm just gonna press that in. Again, I never wipe, I just take, this takes me a while because I really don't want harsh lines. So I really take my time pressing that into the skin. I usually use a contour brush for this. Wow. This is definitely faster than my brush. Like, no questions asked, way faster. Where have you little puppies been my entire life? Oh my God. And it is so well blended so quickly. My oh my. <laughs> I'm like in disbelief. I just, it was very easy. Hmm. Wow, that usually takes me way longer because I really don't want harsh lines from contour so it takes me a while to blend it with my contour brush. That took like one fourth of the time it usually takes. Okay, wow. Well friends, first first impression, I'm pretty excited about these. Now, I think I prefer the little one because I can really get in there more than this one. I'm going to have to keep using this, so let me know down below, comment, thumbs up, something that you want to see like an update. I would, I want to wash them and see how they clean, but I don't have time. I have to go. Like, I need to edit this video, get it up. So if you want to see like a follow-up review, I'll keep using it every day, let's say for the next week, and I can give you a follow-up review because for this one, I'm not... As excited it's great I just felt like I used more foundation maybe I just need to get used to it and press it in maybe a little more firmly I feel like I had to use more foundation. so let me move this make sure you subscribe give this a thumbs up hit the notification bell all that good stuff so you can see updates on this but first first impressions I'm pretty impressed and I like them so I will keep you posted don't forget to check out my most recent video right here